He's what gonna up? flip out if we ignore him anymore. Flash. Oh, Thanks. denied, bitch! No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. Yeah, for real. But anyways, no worries. I got one of her. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Um, I mean, yes. Maybe, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> you had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Um, I don't know what this is. Faster pussycat kill kill? But I'm gonna say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to you about how annoying. No, that's so mean. I don't think she's attracted to him, and that's why she's like clearly friend zoning him. Because he seems like a nice kid. I think we all agree. Warren means well. They get along. They're into the same things. But something ain't right. That boy friend zoned. I need to talk to somebody just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? Oh, shit! I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Oh my god, I'm scared. Answer me, bitch. Oh my god, he's still... I don't... don't... what? What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. No. Oh. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back. Bitch boy. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. Oh damn, he just got hey, headbutted. Him Fuck him up, Max! He tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom. <gasps> Jesus! Who is this? Max? Chloe? No way. Hit him! You again! Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Oh, damn! Warren, Warren's gonna get fucked up! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Get scratched! The security guard's gonna be like, I didn't see nothing. Oh, my God. This little Elvis. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Wait, I didn't rewind. I don't know if I could. Don't I was so scared. Face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Illuminati. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? 
Um, my ass. No. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Um, I like Seattle. They have good crab legs. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Um, only for Mike Jefferson. <laughs> um, of course. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Hmm. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. Dang. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Word silences. I like silence in the car sometimes. It's just kind of nice to just drive and think. Wait, okay. I thought. Man, are you serious? I thought we rewound. Wow, I haven't heard that one in a while. And that was not fixed. everything changes, except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert! My stepdad has a fully stocked garage, and he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Nice truck. Let's get revenge. We can use the tools to build something to take on Nathan Prescott and his army of uber douches. Or I could just fix the camera. Either way. Alright. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. Home shit home. Nice. Oh, boobies. So what now? <laughs> Everybody lies, no exceptions. Think like a man. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. All right. Whoa, whoa. You can pass it to me. I'm not an innocent young girl anymore. I scratched a motherfucker today. You think I'm sweet and innocent? I'll fuck you up too. My name's motherfucking Max. All right, no. Let's uh, go through all our shit. <laughs> Let's see how nosy we can be right now. I love nosing around these rooms. Oh shit, it's a picture of the missing uh, girl. What was her name? Uh, Vic no, it wasn't Victoria. That was, that's bitch Hey, give girl. me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. All right, Rachel Amber, thank you. I need my own rewind button so I know, like, I remember, I remembered that name. Um, let's find out about this. Maybe That's we'll Rachel rewind. Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So Rachel took my place, bitch? No, no, no. 
I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. What's we were gonna kick the world's ass. What's going on at that wall we behind her? We how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. All right, so what happened? So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Everyone leaves you because you're an asshole. I'm sorry, God. She looked at me with those eyes. I didn't really actually mean that. She's really nice so far. I was just... It was like, you know, sarcastic remarks between friends where you're mean to each other, but you don't really mean it. You know, putting that on. All right. What about her parents? What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And the poof. Teacher. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? But I'm back! Hey! Where the weed at? Alright. Okay, we seem to have depressed her. Oh, we can... I don't really, like, I don't feel like I need to rewind. We could rewind finding that and her, I, I think it's good she knows we know about that. I think it's a good thing. That conversation went well. It went really well. All right, let's go through her laptop. Post. She looks super happy. Okay, let's go. Snows around. Selfies. Oh, boy. All right. Okay, where's the Uber bong? Oh, maybe it's not in here. One day your life will flash before your eyes. Let's look at this postcard. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Miss you. Wish you were here. Rage. Okay. Drawer. Search. We had such a blast drawing these together. Oh, wow. With Chloe and Max, she's a killer. Nice. It's beautiful. Truly glorious. Back search. And it reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. She's like, go put on some music. All right, sure. After I'm done searching through all your shit. No problem. Like, don't mind me. Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. I'm sorry. Let's not break the glass snow dome. Oh my god, alright. No, we're good. Okay, is it still intact? Okay, we're good. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet I lair. can't get in this closet! Alright, it's okay. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Alright, look at this. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Oh, okay. That's why she crossed that out. Her dad died. She's probably really upset. Okay, um... I'd rather have a life of oh wells than a life of what ifs. Fuck off. I can't sleep. Okay. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. Okay. Alright, um, I think we've nosed around pretty good. What about this desk? Look at desk. Is this a desk or a storage space? Dang, called out. Alright, um... Wait, we can look in this again? Okay, Chloe. A metal box under the bed equals secret. Let's hear that CD. Yeah, you need to hide that shit better. Like, way better. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Hmm. Chloe totally changed Oops, her Oops, I already style. did that. I need the CD. Here we 
we go. I didn't look in here though. Pictures. Me look and Daddy. That. Chloe and her dad were so close. Oh, she does look different now. Look at the kid here. Right. Do do do. Oh yes. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Dang, three thousand dollars to repair it. Switch on. Nice. Ten years later, putting the music on, finally, after snoozing, or snoozing, snooping through all of her shit. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Okay. Okay, I have some. I'm not a sweet, innocent young girl. I already Can told you. Can you let me chillax for a bit? Alone? <laughs> the tools are still downstairs. Hey, right, bye. I'm just trying to be friends. All right, I'm going to search through your whole house now. Damn it. We can't open doors? We can't open doors. Whoa, dark. I cannot see anything. You can see things. Come on now. Look at the stuff. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. All right, so that's probably her mother. Let's see. I hope Ooh. Chloe isn't taking these pills. Okay. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. Alright. Let's go. Turn off I'm not I'm I'm so bad with that. Are any of you bad with that where you like forget to turn off lights? I'm way better at it now, but I used to be so bad at it. I'm I've gotten way better. Alright, open. Oh damn. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Yeah. I, whenever that happens to birds, it's, it's so like, just like you hear like a big thud. And then if you see the bird doing it, some birds, I, there was this bird once where it just like kept repeatedly flying into the window until it would knock itself out. And then it would just do it again. It was a real psycho. Oh shit, poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Um, but I can just look at it? Let's put it in. Let's put it in the mom's bed. Oh my god, yes. Let's do that. Let's do something crazy. Joyce still works at the diner. Is her husband a cop? Poor Chloe. Can she get out of the parking ticket son? Like, pretty easily? Unless he's a... Uh, Uber douche. Uh -oh. The prices are late on their bills. Uh -oh. That's not good. This is like really creepy though. <laughs> what if like one of your friends, your long lost Dog friend, was just like sweet going through all of David your stuff Watson. like this? Like you just like you left them alone to go to the bathroom or something and then you just find them like snooping through all your parents' stuff? They'd be like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Aww. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Okay. Let's go. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. I like exploring everything. I know some people are against it, but it gives a lot of backstory. It definitely gives a lot of backstory, which is a good thing on games like this. I, I'm missing a ton of stuff. Anyways, this is one of those games where I really recommend you get it if, if you really want to learn more because 
It's one of those games you can play multiple times. Doesn't You'll always like find something new. Rolling in dough these days. I like that. And you can do different options. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. And since it's a five episode thing, I feel like. Now, this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. Okay. Text message from Kate. Um, this is right now. Thanks again, Max, for helping me. No problem. That guy is an asshole. Did I send that? Or is that just showing that it's new? Alright. You're welcome, Kate. Oh my god, going through their messages? Oh, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered... Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. Donuts. Why no can't we eat? Kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. Okay. Turn on all their lights. Love you, mom. Switch on. Oh yeah, turn on their TV too. Just turn everything on. Open the fridge. Leave it open. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. <laughs> Sliding door. Stain. Big stain. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. All right, there is the garage. Is there anything interesting outside? I can feel autumn not pushing really. out I'm not going to swing. I'm not going to swing. We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. Well, R.I.P. Bongo. All right. Oh, I got to go inside to get in there. That's not the door. All right, let's fix this camera. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Okay. Search. Nothing. This is so lame. Okay. Open. Corned beef. All right. I like corned beef. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Dang it. I know it. Damn it, I don't. All right. Shit! Butterfingers! All right, there we go. Open. This action will have consequences. What? What do you mean? Huh? Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Placement of cameras. Oh! Is, um... I wonder if her stepdad is the security guard, maybe? I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's not. I mean, this could always be Chloe's, or even maybe her parents have reason to know that. Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Ew, that's really creepy. I mean, well, I mean, for for a security reason, I guess it's fine. But it's, like, Chloe's room in there? What if he's creeping on her? And we're just watching. I can't move. All right, there we go. Oh! Okay. Let's rewind. I... So, the reason it has consequences is because... Ew. 
He's gonna see me snooping around there. Alright, we're good now. Not opened. Tools! Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. <laughs> what? Oh, okay, are we just like hoping this is gonna work? All right, well, I guess it worked. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Then get on the floor and grab at it. Or do that. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Oh my god. Are you serious? I hate when that happens, though. Sometimes I... That was very smart, dumbass. My phone... No can reach. Falls under my bed, and it's pretty low, so it's, like, hard to reach under there. Or it's too far in. Then you gotta, like, do some, like, stuff like this. But I don't have a rewind button. So it's even worse. Alright, turn on. Nice. Pull. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. All right, where is the camera? Where is the camera? I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Mm -hmm. Chloe's stepdad is head of security ah, at Blackwood. bingo! He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? He hates us. What if he just saw us in his house right now, snooping around? Chloe's stepdad is a veteran and a security guard? He must really hate her. Right, let's go. We should, uh, let's rewind that. Alright, let's rewind that. Okay, let's go. Yeah. He... I feel like Max is on her way to like getting banished from that school. We're pissing off so many people that we shouldn't be pissing off. And uh, we scratched that rich kid. Now things aren't looking good for us. Not at all. Hey, so your dad's a douche. You found the tools, sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Um, all right. Good, I don't want I didn't want to have to do it. <laughs> I hope it just auto does it. Like it's gonna be done right now. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah. I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Nice framing, too. Wait. I've seen this before. Uh... No way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. You're welcome. Now tell me the truth, Max. <laughs> we can be honest with Chloe. I was there. Hiding in the corner. Damn. You're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? See, I told you I wasn't a sweet, young, innocent girl anymore. Fuck! Wait, what did she ask? I don't know why. Um, yeah. I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared, too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Yeah. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? I told, like, everyone. Absolutely freaking everyone. <laughs> Did we tell anyone? Um, I'm going to play stupid on this one. Absolutely. Like, actually, I'll rewind it. Absolutely. Nathan Prescott had a fucking gun on you. Gutless prick. 
That was scary. Who did you tell? The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you Max. Okay, I thought she was gonna be way more angry than that. That's cool. That's cool. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Dang! That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> Photo? Do we get to take the picture or does it auto do it? All right, it auto does it. Let's see. She's having a blast. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. If you don't know, I'm not allowed to upload copyrighted music yes, on YouTube. Yes, break it down, Max. Another benefit if you buy the game yourself. You're not going to be... Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no. Hide me. Oh, no fucking way. I told you it... need to hide now. Yeah, I My do. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. I'm a sweet, innocent young girl. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Damn it. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Let him Give in. Wait a second. My let me see this stuck. drama. Don't worry, girl. I got a I'm rewind not button. Around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. All right, no, I guess I have to hide. <laughs> I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? God, I don't fucking know. Out the window. This is going nowhere fast. I better look What's someplace else. Here? <gasps> Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. He looks so odd right now for some reason. It's his pants. They're weirding me out. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh, God, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh, yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Dang! Is this Call true? out! Blame Chloe? Take the blame? Oh, my God. Let's be a total bitch and be like, it was her. I'm gonna change it, but... No way. That's not mine. Oh, of course not. I'm sure Chloe gets all the best shit, right? All right, I'm sure all right. she gave oh, you... Oh, shit, I can't friends. rewind! Just get off my crack! Stop taking your war rage out on high school girls! You have seen rage, you little... Fuck you, pig! Damn! Owned, wrecked! I... Listen. You asked for that. You know exactly what you're doing. Let's slap the fuck out of him. I can already tell from today that you're trouble, Max. Why can't we fight I him? I hope this doesn't affect your status at Blackwell. Don't ever come back here. Listen, dipshit. If you ever lay a hand on me again, I'll have your ass in jail. Then you can guard yourself all night. You're the ones who'll end up in jail. Oh, you only think you're tough and clever. This too shall pass. Where's, why can't I use my motherfucking style. rewind button? I want to rewind. Sorry, Chloe. I didn't know what to do. Whatever. Everybody bails on me. Even my best friend, Max. Don't you? Wait. Why can't I rewind? I don't want to blame so her. Everybody in this town. Fuck. I wish I hadn't even seen you. As if you care. Color me out of here. Alright. Can I rewind yet? Oh my god. I feel like a douche if it like keeps me as blaming her. You've got to be shitting me. David was such a mean bastard right, here we to go. Chloe. 
What if I had stepped up to help? Yes. That's what I was gonna do anyways. I was gonna take the blame, because he already hates Max anyway, so it's like, whatever. Just let me in. Now. All right, I, I don't think we're able to hide. I think he's gonna see us no matter what, but let's try. This is going nowhere fast. Nice! Can hide a joint, but not the smell. Oh yeah, good point. Well that, you could like, I don't know, I think it's better if he doesn't see it. All right. Shit. What's cool? Skip. Blur, blur, blur. Oh my god, is that grass, you little bitch? I'll my fuck pot. your day up. It's from Max. Is this true? Take the blame. Uh, yeah. My pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. Dang, I'm scared. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. Oh. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Right, she's so much happier now. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. Man, that did not go well for me. I know, man. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. That's true. I mean, Max makes a good point, like, but I just can't, I don't want to be that friend that's like, you know, totally getting your friend in trouble. But then we're getting ourselves in trouble. <gasps> I don't know. I just don't want to be that, you know, ugh. like, it's just one of those dilemmas where you don't know what the fuck to do. But it was better if Max took the heat. That guy seems psycho. <laughs> So I don't think it'll last at that school, but who knows? School's pretty messed up. Hey. Isn't this awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slowpoke. Hold on. Gotta use a new camera. Well, she probably doesn't I have film. I have been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just Tornado here? Tornado place? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Hmm. Interesting. Are we gonna die? And then when you die, you could just basically go through your life rewinding shit and doing different things? That might not be that bad. That'd be kind of cool. Dang. I thanks for day. I'll call you back later, okay? So I swear. No problem. You still have to tell me your big secret. Alright. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Start a campfire. Peter, trust no one. Hey. You sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. You're in a good mood. My pleasure, good sure. Good sure. My good sure. Feels nice out here after all Sorry. that drama. You really took one for Team Chloe. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on Kate? Oh, yeah. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Not me. <laughs> you know, I wanted to, but I realized I have enough mystery in my life. I'd like to find out. I bet he's got some serious porn in there. Ugh. Good thing you didn't look. <laughs> he's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. 
I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? Even yours? Let's get the What's dirt Nathan's on Nathan. Secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. Dang. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. What about Nathan? So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Always pour your own motherfucking drinks. This happened in heavy rain. Gave that advice then. I'm giving this advice now. Always watch your drinks. Okay? There's creeps out there that put shit in your drinks. They'll fuck with you. Alright? So, make sure you watch your drinks. That's good life advice. That's fucked up. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. So like if an uber creep or anyone, even someone that's nice, comes up to you like, I gave you, I got this drink for you. Let's like you uber, like really trust him. Be careful. I and mean, even if you do trust him, sometimes it's nice just to get your own drinks. It's not a bad thing. Let's call the police. She's not going to agree to that. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. Bye. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Oh shit, you got a headache? It's a hell of a migraine. Why is this happening to me? Why am I here again? Ghost deer? Yo, what if she put something in our drink? Alright. Is Chloe still up there? I have to find out. Oh dear Jesus Christ. Rewind. But <laughs> it's crushed my rock. Oh. Oh boy. R.I.P. Deer? No, it was. It moved. Wait, can I um like go under here? Just rewind here. Excuse me, it's she. Be heading through. Oh no. Wasn't fast enough. All right, it's not gonna get us now. Is that my Patronus? All right, let's go. Nope, 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 a lot of nope. Oh, come on, it barely touched us. 
Alright. That shit got crazy here real fast. What does that say? Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Is this for real? Okay, um... Bye. Alright. <laughs> what are... Newspaper, okay. Uh, whew. Let's rewind. Terrifying. Read! October 11th? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Shit goes down in four days, apparently. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real, it's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something... Hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. Reverse it and get my high, girl back! Right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. <laughs> People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. I... I'm <laughs> just kidding. Is it snowing? What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. It's so weird. Tell me everything. Frickin' blizzard out of nowhere. Okay, then. Is that the end of episode one? Nope. Still going! Nice hair clip. Warren. Who's that guy, though? I don't remember seeing him. Victoria. Oh, she's so jealous of the missing girl. It's drinking. I'm looking for anything weird in any of these images. Seeing about young girls. They're actually not that young. They're like 18. All right, guys, so, oh wait, it's not done yet. Kelly, does that say Kelly? That's my name. Kelly Lynn? Kelly Lynn? That's my middle name. 
Well, Lynn's my middle name, not Kelly Kelly Lynn. <laughs> um, awesome. So that is episode one, guys. Episode two doesn't come out till next uh, month, I believe. So uh, this happens a lot when I play other episodic games. People are like, why didn't you upload the next part? Where is it? It's because I can't. It's not out yet. It's not out yet. So this is episode one. This is what's out. You can get them at a discount or you can buy episode one on its own. Uh, it's cheaper to buy. It's five episodes. The, to buy one episode is $4.99, I believe. I think it's like $20 to get all five. Uh, so if you're looking to get the game, I recommend it. It looks like a game I'm going to play a few times to kind of see everything there is to see. Obviously, I'm, this didn't even touch the surface, I'm sure. I did look at a lot of extra things. So, um but even then, I mean, it's one of those games where different choices have different outcomes. I guess we'll find out more next time to see how that's going to fare. Sometimes games, like, you can make different choices, but it kind of ends up being the same thing happening. So we'll see how good this one is. I'm really enjoying it so far, and I cannot wait till the next episode. Uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic night. Let me know what you thought about the first part or first episode in the comment section.